Did you know that you can build an entire website with and on top of Notion? That's exactly what I did and today I want to show you the final result. You probably know already that you can easily share and publish any page in your Notion workspace, which is basically already enough to create a small website and works great for basic use cases. But with the right tool, you can take it a step further than that. Over the last few weeks, I have rebuilt and redesigned a website that is related to this YouTube channel using Notion as my content management system and Super, which is probably the most advanced Notion website builder, to create a fully functional and highly optimized content website. In this video, I'm going to show you what my redesigned website looks like, what the underlying Notion pages look like and what Super does with them. This video is not going to be a tutorial on how to build a website with Notion, but I'm very much open to create this kind of content. So if you want to learn more about using Notion and Super to create websites, make sure to leave a comment below this video. And now let's check out the website. Alright, first I want to show you what the actual redesigned website looks like to show you what's possible. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like in Notion. So follow me on this quick walkthrough here. On the homepage, we have a header section with a small call to action here. Below, I'm showcasing a featured template and also three of the other templates in a small gallery here. And the rating data that you can see here is actually dynamically pulled from a content database in my Notion workspace, which I update about once a week with new reviews and ratings. But then it's being published to my website automatically. So that is super cool. And I use something similar down here in the section where I promote my YouTube channel. This YouTube data here is also automatically pulled from the YouTube API once every day and then automatically updated on my website as well. So it's really fun playing around with Notion databases and the dynamic capabilities they bring to your website. Below we have the newsletter subscription form and also a small wall of love where I showcase all the cool and nice comments that I'm receiving which is good for people to see but also for my own confidence when sometimes anxiety kicks in. And now let me show you also what another page looks like. Here we go into the templates sub page which is basically just a Notion database with different views to basically showcase all the different templates that I have separated by categories. I have a courses page. I'm working on a Notion beginner course. So if that is something you're interested in, make sure to subscribe because it will be coming in the next couple of weeks. I have a small page for tools where I'm going to be showcasing tools that I use with and for Notion. For example, the automation tool that I mentioned that I'm using to keep my website up to date. And here is a blog where you can also easily see all the different blog pages that I have. You can browse them by category. And let's just jump into one of the blog content articles so that you can also see what that looks like. So we have a nice featured image at the top. We can define a category. You see me being the author. We have a date property and an updated date property, which is always good for SEO and to inform Google when this content was created. We have a fully functional table of contents that allows you to basically jump to each header section in this article. So let's click on the first one. We automatically scroll here. We have an embedded video that we can also make bigger just by clicking on it with some captions. We also have multiple images that we can also zoom in with just a click of a button. And overall, you can see this looks very familiar probably than what you are used to from Notion when creating content. And you can easily transfer this to really create a very cool, minimalistic and nice looking website. And so, I think this basically sums up what we need to see for this website. So now let me show you what it looks like in Notion itself. All right, now let's take a look at Notion. And this might look a little bit different from what you have expected. But actually, we are just now looking at my website's homepage in Notion. You can see all these different sections. We have the call to action with a button. We have the template gallery for the feature template and the three other templates showcasing the ratings. We have the courses section, we have the YouTube section with the stats, where I've also embedded a small YouTube video from my channel. We have a button to go there and to subscribe. And we also have easily embedded an email form by just copying and pasting a link, because as you know, Notion makes it super easy to embed third party content. And here I'm using a simple code snippet to embed this cool wall of love that I was showing you before. And I also want to give you a quick glimpse in how I'm organizing my content. I'm using a content database 
And here I have different views for the different parts of my website. So here I have one for pages, one for the templates, one for courses, tools, blog, and so on. And I'm just going to show you one here. Let's open the templates page, which you can see here is showing the different database views, where the first one is showing us all the templates that I have. The second one is only showing us the pro templates. The third one is only showing us the free templates and so on. So people can easily use the database views that I've set up to browse through the different templates that I'm offering. So as you can see, Super offers pretty cool ways to create your Notion website. And fundamentally, it's still everything as creating a page in Notion. Obviously, some of the code snippets might look a little bit intimidating, but actually, this is just a little bit advanced. And if you start building a website like this, you will figure out how to do this as well. So next, I want to show you now what Super actually does to this Notion page to make it look like the home page and the website that we have seen before. All right, now we are here in my Super dashboard for my Notion website, and I want to quickly explain to you what Super actually does. You could think of Super like the website hosting provider, which is maybe a term that you have heard of. But actually, Super isn't really hosting your content. It's just pulling the content from Notion, allows you to apply some design adjustments to it, and it also heavily optimizes it for speed and for search engine indexability. So it really helps with also getting your website found by search engines like Google and also new AI tools. So it really helps with making your website better and of course allows you to add your own brand and feeling to it. Right within Super, you can connect your own domain. You can even buy a domain through Super. You can create the page structure that you want to use. And you can also make some small adjustments for SEO by adding your own descriptions and such. You can make design adjustments right within here without any coding knowledge, but you can also apply any kind of custom code that you want. And so I just want to quickly show you what Super actually does by removing all the custom code that I am using for this website. And then the home page looks like this. So you can see this looks a lot more like what we've just seen in Notion before. We have our template overview, we have the callout sections, we have the database views, but basically everything is already a little bit changed in design because Super applies some design adjustments right from here within the menu. But you can see I have also applied some custom code to make the site really look in the way that I want. So when I cancel this one to return all the code, you can see everything is looking just like this. And don't be intimidated by the code. This is all optional. You can create a lot of cool looking websites just by using the super built in features. And I have also heard from the team that they're actually working on a designer tool, which will make the whole custom design thing for your website much, much easier. I'm not really sure when this is going to be launched, but I know they are working on it. So it's going to be easier and easier to design and build your own custom website using Notion and Super in the future. And that's basically all I wanted to show you today. Obviously, just because you can use Notion to create a website doesn't mean that it is the perfect solution for every use case. If your website requires some advanced or highly specific functionality, like creating an e-commerce platform, you are definitely better off finding a specialized solution. But if you're like me and you just love using Notion, you're already using it to create and organize your content. And your goal is to create a content website that basically allows you to create and change everything right with the Notion, then you should definitely take a look at Super. Make sure to check out my new website and Super by following the links in the description below this video. Don't forget to like this video and to subscribe to my channel. And as mentioned earlier, if you want me to make more videos about building websites with Notion, make sure to let me know in the comments below. To stay tuned about what I'm up to and to get access to exclusive launch discounts, monthly coupon giveaways and useful Notion tips and tricks, make sure to subscribe to my free newsletter.